And when I read Olivia's paper, at first when I saw the theorist she was using, I thought, huh. But as I read through her paper, um, she was just convincing me along. I was like, she's right. Um, my presentation today was about basically Twilight and what would Freud say about the protagonist character Bella. I guess the thing I want people to take away from this is how we see psychoanalytic theory and just psychology in everyday society and get people more involved in the major, more interested in maybe our psychology clubs or just doing a few psych classes just for fun because it's, it's an interesting subject. I did this topic because I thought it was an interesting look into the character. I've always seen these movies and thought, I wonder who this is being targeted to. I wonder what any psychologist would probably say about this character. And when I think about those things, I think maybe I should just do it. Maybe I'm the one who needs to look into this and find out. What would Freud say about Bella? Oh, I loved working with Dr. Kelsa. She is so professional. Um, she always has really good feedback. Um, it made working on the project very easy. It's really fun. I mean, this presentation came out of a classroom assignment in the Theories of Personality class where I have students choose a movie character and choose one of the personality perspectives we talk about in class and analyze their personality. They're really fun papers to read to begin with uh, because it is a popular topic. But this one just really struck me. And so she put together a dynamite presentation and I think the audience really responded well. I, I really enjoy watching students progress from a 100 level class and then maybe I might have them in a 200 level statistics class. Or I may have them, you know, as I had Olivia again, in a 400 level personality class. And then ultimately they're gonna be walking across the stage and graduating. I really enjoy seeing that progression and, and watching their skill sets just blossom over that time frame. There's always an activity that you can get involved in. And because it's such a small school, you don't have to compete with two, 300 people to get involved in an activity. They're just happy you wanna do it. My long-term goal is actually IO psychology, which is industrial organizational psychology. It has a lot to do with um, efficiencies in business. Um, you know, what ways can we get, make our employees more productive? You know, how to do a lot of the things that most big businesses want to improve efficiency. And I think accounting and psychology go hand in hand for that ultimate goal.